All right. Shalom, first and foremost, like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chakwadash. All right, double honor to the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone, and peace citation to Yusasakim, pushing his word and sincerity, truth, and charity. Brothers from Great Millstone, Chicago, Lord Willens is a uh, edifying lesson to the hopeful and uh, righteous elect. Um, the video you see on the screen is, uh, this is a, uh, Another page, um, the brother from um, Dallas, uh, Yashuamba, um, got um, his two through the info. And I was watching and seeing this video this morning before the brother picked me up. Uh, Tyler, it must be stopped. So, pretty much, the video, uh, uh, what, what's that site? R uh, Rotors? Oh, uh, uh, Rooters, yeah. Rooters, yeah. And yeah, we got this video from, uh, I think he was looking at the video. I guess he screen recorded it. Yeah. They screen recorded. Been up two years ago. You know, pretty much the title Future of Food. What trends are shaping the food and beverage industry, man? You know, so things are not naturally grown here no more. Mm -hmm. You know, so now you start making uh, this food in the, in the fuck lab. That's pretty much what the video is all about, man. Right. You know. And this is one of the many reasons why we need deliverance and we need deliverance out of this devil's hands. We need to get delivered out of this fucking place, man. Because you're not even eating real fucking food, man. It's all GMO, man. All right? And like uh, brother's been saying, you got to you know, eat this bullshit food and then go get the supplements too. The B vitamin supplements, vitamin D, vitamin C. With it, all this supposed to naturally be in the fucking food, man. Right. All right. And then you gotta pay f for <laughs> for water. That's supposed to be fuck. Water supposed to be free, man. You gotta pay for water. Yeah, water's so abundant yeah. you know, around the earth, but this damn devil Esau Edom, right, has ruined the water supply. He's ruined everything. Yeah. You see, and he, and he did this on purpose so that we could run to him. For all things, it's all about control with this fucking dude, mm -hmm. man. And and he he tries to poison us because the Lord said you would eat your. Let me grab that. He said you would yeah, eat your, you. your 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 bread defiled among the Gentiles. You know. Yeah, yeah. Cause it's all is a prophecy at the end of the day. And the Lord also say, uh, if you if you eat or drink any deadly thing, it will not harm you. Exactly. You've been shit. This ain't nothing new. The mm -hmm. devil been trying to destroy us for the longest, man. Oh, absolutely. You know, but you understand that it's the Lord that decides whether you live or die, you yeah. see? All right? I mean, here it is. We're being poisoned on the on the regular, on the daily. You know what I'm saying? But it's the Lord that upholds us, you know? Yeah. Even Paul. Paul was bitten by a snake, you know, and everybody thought he was going to fall down to the floor and die, you know? But no, it didn't even phase him, man. Yeah. You know, because the Lord has a hedge over his men. But this is uh, Ecclesi uh, uh, Ezekiel chapter 4, verse 13. That shows you the Lord's control of everything. Right. It, the power over all flesh. Yeah. The, uh, Ezekiel 4 and 13, and the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, where their eye will drive them. So there's no escaping whether, you dri whether he will drive us. So no matter where you are, Mm -hmm. Around the world, you're gonna be eating bullshit. Yep. Because we didn't hearken unto the voice of the Lord to follow the laws, and commandments. So now, He's showing us, all right, what it is to live like these heathens, to be among these heathens, all right, to choose these heathens over the Lord. Yeah. All right, the Lord is allowing these heathens uh, uh, to fuck us up, man. You know. It sucks, man. You you eat a meal and you get sleepy and tired, man. When food post gee energy right you know it's because your your, uh, your 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 intestines are now going to work extra you know what i'm saying to, to process that food all right to take the nutrients out once it goes into the small intestine you know and it's all this extra work and now your body shuts down to process the bullshit you that's know it. that's it bro you know that's it you, you fucking seedless everything seedless will tell you hey when Lord um, uh, made the, you know, Genesis, the first chapter, it says everything's supposed to have seed in it. That's Genesis 1 and 11, man. Yeah. What the hell you get seedless 
watermelons and all this shit from, man. Oh, that's... All GMO, man. Right. And these whole foods. Oh, man. You get, get to get the best whole foods. They, they got to see the shit, man. Right. So it's, it, all this shit's BS, man. It's controlled by Esau Edom, man. Right. Made in a lab, you know. Yeah. Here it is. This, this guy's a mad scientist. All right. He did a diligent search. He searched out everything. He think he God. I, I, exactly. I, I'm, I'm be- I, I could do it better than the Lord. That's, that's what this dude thinks his head, man. Yeah. You know, that's why this mad, this crazy fucker, we got to be delivered from from this dude, man. Right. This dude is insane, man. He's the American cycle. Yeah, he is. <laughs> you know? Um, you oh, yeah, the Genesis, you quoted Genesis 1 and 11, and God saw, and, and God said, all right, let the earth bring forth grass and herb ye- yielding seed and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth, and it was so. <laughs> oh, yeah, as the Lord said, hey, everything supposed to have seed in it, man. Right. You know, hey, you should, I was looking at hey, bananas used to have seeds in them. A lot of seeds. A lot of seeds. A whole row of seeds, you know. I mean, this dude you some shit that seedless and convince you to hate what, what's natural, man. Right. You know, convince you. You got motherfuckers talking about now. Oh, man, I don't, I don't like, I'd rather have it without the seeds. GMO babies now. <laughs> yeah, you know? pretty much, man. GMO babies, man. That was it on that? Yeah. Okay. All right, this is um, Psalm 17 13. Okay, go ahead. Hey, GMO babies. My Lord, hey, GMO babies. <laughs> hey, hey, Lord, you're going to be bathing in that lake of fire, man. Yeah. You know, once the Lord destroyed this place, man. This is uh, Psalm 17, 13. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him. Cast him. Hey, hey shit. What's the title of the video, Ashwamba? Oh, uh, they must be stopped. Yeah. Hey, disappoint as we pray. Please, Lord, stop this mad, mad man. Baba Gusha, right? You know, say disappoint him. Okay. And the Lord's ultimately is going to disappoint him, man. Right. The scripture say he is, man. You know. Mm-hmm. So it says, uh, "Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, okay. which is thy sore and par. His weapons of war is he is the food. He weaponized the food. Yep." That's part of it, man. He said, "Take me from the wicked, which is our sword, man." Part of that is this fucking food is is, is defiled, man. But how do we have microplastics within our organs, man? Yeah, your blood and all that. Yeah, that shit's crazy. Hey, man, shit. That's why I say you 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 are a, 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 the, the dumbest person in the world for want want this man to continue. And you want to stay here, man. Right. That's why, you know what? Because you Jake's a wicked, you, you wicked, you some wicked, evil pieces of shit, man. That's why you want this devil to be in power, man. Because he gives you license to sin, man. You know. Uh-huh. So because with the Lord, you know, you gotta put off this wicked, evil flesh, man. You, you Jake's don't like that. You you want to fulfill the lust of your flesh. This devil allows you to do that. That's why he's that's why he's okay with you, damn niggas, man. Yeah. You know. That's what uh, is it says. He okay with you? Hey, be, hey, Lord, Lord, like, hey, be destroyed with him, right? That's exactly what's gonna happen to you. That's it. This is Isaiah chapter one. I'll start at verse two. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord Yahweh hath spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. Mm-hmm. Which are you, so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native American Indians, and also the speckled bird? Okay. The ox knoweth his owner, verse 3, the ox knoweth his owner and the ass his master's crib. But Israel does not know. My people does not consider. The, 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 dumb, animal, the dumb animals know who their masters are. And you, you, yet you Jakes don't know any damn thing. You don't know who your power is or anything like that, man. Mm-hmm. You don't even consider. Yeah. Verse 4 Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed. Filled with iniquity, man. Yeah, filled up. (laughs) Overflowing with iniquity. Shit. Hey, scripture say your deeds surpass the deeds of the wicked. Yeah, that's incredible. The actual wicked, man. That's incredible. Yeah. 
Because this devil is the wicked, man. <laughs> How the hell Esau, the wicked, is taking no from you niggas, man? Like, ooh, I like that. <laughs> right. <laughs> Con. How the fuck is that's bugged the hell out, bro? We who are you? Con, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backward. All right? Because just like. Uh, they're like Esau, Edom, their father, man. So they're going to do what Esau does and not what the, the Lord wants them to do. You see? That's why y'all should say, yeah, your father, the devil. Yeah. You call them wicked uh, Pharisees, man. Yeah. He said, yeah, your father, the devil. Unless your father, you do. He was a murderer from the beginning. And, and about not the truth, right? About not the truth. Yeah. There's no truth in him. You know? And you, you, you niggas, uh, just like... Hey, matter of fact, you know that movie, um, Menace to Society? Mm -hmm. It was a nigga, I think the main character in that movie, his name was fucking Cain. Damn, Cain. He's a fucking demon in that goddamn movie, man. Shit. Spiritual. You know? Yeah. <laughs> you see? So you two-thirds, just like your dad, you, 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 you follow after your daddy, Cain. Right. You know, Esau Edom, man. And following after, you know, Esau Edom, you're... You're going to go right into that pit with him, man. You're going to learn death by pain. You're going to learn the hard way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Here it is. Uh, we, we are uh, saved through Yahweh Shai. All right? And you, you want to cling. You know, two-thirds want to cling on to Esau, Edom. Like, like he's going to do something special for them. But look at history. Look at today. There's not one good thing Esau, Edom has done for us, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, oh, guess what? Hey, this is what he's doing for you. Creating food for you in the lab. Yeah. <laughs> that, that kills you. And then he charges a lot of money for it, too. Yeah, charge a lot of money. Then not have you thinking. Oh, you just slap it. Oh, it's organic. So, hey, we got to charge your extra five, ten dollars with the same shit. Yeah. You just think it's organic. You're paying more money. Right. I mean, you don't even know what this devil will be putting on labels or oh, non GMO. You don't know what's in there. You ain't see him create the shit, you know. How do you have, you know, you just slap, put some shit. That old scripture say, never trust your enemy, man. Oh, when I God. see that, I was like, man, in my, my mind already, when I see label or something, I was like, hey, this man is full of shit. That's what I'm thinking in my mind, because I know this dude's a damn devil, man. Right, because real food doesn't have labels. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, they're not, it's not made in a lab. You know? Yeah, man. It's motherfucking you know, fruits and all that putting stickers on the damn. <laughs> That's madness. Like, what the f you buy a damn fruit, it's a goddamn sticker on it, man. <laughs> you know? Hey, man, don't you know, um, before the devil ruined everything, you had fruit trees? Yeah, abundantly. Yeah. Hanging, hanging trees with mad fruit all over it. Yeah. You know, with seed in it. With seeds in it, man. But you know? You can see, this dude wants control. He's greed. He, it's all about money with him. So he destroyed all that. So you can rely on him, man. Right. You got to go to him now. And you got homeless people out here. They should be good, man. Exactly. Yeah. You know, but they don't follow the land Sabbath. Yeah. They don't follow uh, to leave 10% of the crops for mm -hmm. the poor. They don't follow any of those things, man. You know, it, when you're here in these major cities, you know, especially the major cities, all right, it's terrible, man. But this is what it is. They they lock up, like, in behind these restaurants and all, they lock up the dumpsters, you know, the garbage bins, so the homeless couldn't go in there and grab leftovers. There's some places that... that that didn't sell like all their food and it's like brand new fresh food of the day they and they'll toss that shit out instead of giving it to the homeless man right toss it out man so they they don't care about the old the young all right the 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 poor they don't care about none of our people man that's, and that's what jake needs to realize man all right these heathens are against us especially esau eat them and that's why you got to cry out to yahweh by hashem yahweh shai to get us the hell up out of here, man. That's it. Bro. You know? You out of your mind for wanting to stay here, bro. Right. All this shit here, it has to stop. It has to come to an end. And and guess what? The good news, it, it, it does have an end. All right? Because the Lord, you know, let me grab it. Job 14, oh, yeah, yeah. verse 5. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. 
Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. So the Lord gave him a, a time of rulership. And we are approaching the end of the rulership of Esau Edom, man, which is the end of the Gentiles. All right, because this is a uh, real quick second Ezra chapter six, uh, verse nine, right to the point for Esau, the so-called white man is the end of the world. All right. The end of this current age right now, the end of the Gentiles. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, you know, the 12 tribes of Israel. All right. Our kingdom, the kingdom of Yahweh Shai, which is the kingdom of Israel is the, is coming next. It's coming after this, this wicked, evil kingdom, man. You know, and the Lord is going to establish it. And there's going to be all good things, man, especially for us Israelites. It's going to be our heaven and there's no end to it. You know, we don't have to worry about reading a label in the kingdom. All right. Or, or, or feeding our babies Similac, which Esau puts metals into it. Okay. Yeah. Now we're going to, our women are going to be, uh, you know, breast up, you know, full. You know, full of milk, you know, nutritious for our children. We're going to eat good. You know what I'm saying? Everything's going to be perfect in the kingdom. And that's why we got to cry out now because we're not with this shit. Yeah. So when the Lord returns, he sees that. That's it, bro. Yeah. Like I said, you're going to be uh, going back, you know, the midwives delivering the babies again. Yeah. Not some damn hospital. They sticking needles into the mother and, and the child as soon as he come out the womb, man. Right. You know, that's what you got going on. Then you got to go keep getting all these shots. That's why you got autistic children and all that today, man. Right. It's all done by the damn enemy, the devil. Yeah, he is not our friend. He has he does not have our best interest in his mind, okay? He really wants to eliminate us. He wants to exterminate all so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native American Indians. That's it. All right? He wants to wipe us out, man, because he knows that we are the children of Israel. That's it. You know? He knows that. He, like you said, cast him down from his ex, ex, uh, excellency, man. God. That's what he's all about, man. This is, um, you, you done with that scripture? Yeah, yeah, I'm done, yeah. It's Joel 5, 5 and 12. 5 and 12, okay. Yeah, because this was his devil. That's what he's trying to set up his, uh, his new to the W and the O, man. Right. You know? We he's uh pretty much he thinking his heart he's got man that's why he wants to uh, give you the uh, karagma and all that keep tabs on everybody you know bring down the population when the Lord tells you clearly tells you Genesis first chapter he said be fruitful and multiply right. you know so this dude is totally contrary to the ways of how about shimmy how shot man mm -hmm. and you got this fucking power man. But hey, hey, Lord set him up. He set him up to be in power. And Lord's going to bring his ass down. Just when he think he got everything established. All right. You know, like they said, Job. Uh, in the point, fullness of his sufficiency. Yeah. yeah. That's when the Lord's going to. That's the beautiful thing. You build somebody's pride up just to crush you at the end, man. Yeah. yeah that's what the Lord doing with this damn devil, man. He's going to show him that you're just but a man. That's it. You know, you're not a God. You're not a power. You're just a man, and you're the basis of all men. That's it. Uh, Isaiah 14 and um, 12 on down. Okay. This is um, Job uh, 5 and 12. He disappointed the devices of crafty. So if you had King David, he praying the Lord disappoint the, the wicked, protect them from the sword. Guess what? The Lord is going to do that, man. You know, according to this scripture right here, he disappointed the devices of the crafty. It's talking about the, the wicked elites. The ones who rule the earth, man. He's going to disappoint their, their devices, man. Or the crafty, so their hand cannot perform their enterprise. What's that, dude? What they're setting up? That wicked, evil N NWO, man. Mm -hmm. All right. He take it the wise in their own craftiness, and the council of the forest carry here alone. They meet with darkness in the daytime and grope in the new day as in the night. But he saved the poor from the sword. From their mouth and from the hand of the mighty. So, so starting with the leg, he's going to save them from the sword, which is Esau Edom, man. And part of his sword like, is the food. That's part of his sword, man. Mm -hmm. It's not just a weapon, you know, an actual weapon. Right. You know. 
He's weaponized everything he yeah. puts his hands onto. Yeah. You know, the weather, the food, the, the rivers, the, the lakes, the oceans. All right. Literally everything, this man. He the earth is given to the the, 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 the hand of the wicked. So it's his time to rule, you know what I'm saying? And this is how he rules, man, with the sword. All right? In all forms of destruction. Yeah, he ain't happy, he say. It was it uh, Proverbs four? He say he just doesn't even get a good night's sleep unless he calls mischief and something to fall. To fall, man. right? You know, this dude's all about wickedness and evil, man. Especially putting hell oppressing you Israelites, man. Mm -hmm. So-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. You got you, Jake's gonna find it hard. Well, you think this devil changed? He ain't changed one bit, man. Mm -hmm. He's putting on act with you right now, man. Right, if I made this is yeah. Jeremiah 13 and 23, can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spots? Then may ye also do good that are accustomed to do evil. You know, and the answer is no. Esau Edom is the devil the Bible speaks of. He's a deceiver. He's a destroyer. All right. And he's not going to change. He's this way yesterday, today, and forever until he's destroyed, ultimately. Esau's a damn devil, man. He's not going to change. There's nothing you can do to change him. Nothing you, nothing you can do. You think, oh, man. One day, the so-called white man, so-called, he lied on that. He's red. He's not white. Yeah, exactly. Shit. You know, he started calling himself white in 1681. Look it up, man. Yep, in Virginia. Yeah. You know, and, and just to be clear, all right, because there, some people, I know some Jakes, but oh, my, I have white friends and, and they're cool and they're loving. There are some speckled birds among, you know, the nations, you know. That's a whole different topic, but, yeah, yeah, you I, know. I did a lesson on that, man. That's what bugs Jake out, man. Yeah. I actually have uh, somebody appear to look like an Edomite. Actually, actually cool. I like made speckled bird, man. Right. You know? You're going to have our people, we've been scouted out full corn reserve, you're going to have our people looking like these other nations. Right, so, you know, try the spirits, like the yeah. scripture says, you know? And I use, uh, 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 what was it, um, going back to the lesson I did on Speckled Bird, was that singer, um, Pink, because there's, oh, uh, yeah. there's a, a picture of saying, somebody typed in, you know, I thought, you know, she was black at first. Kind. You know. Yeah, just like uh, Bobby Caldwell. You put on his music, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you think he'd be a so-called black man. Yeah, if you ain't never seen him before. Right. And then, you know, even, um, I believe before, you know, you used to have, uh, take, you know, you know, uh, sh sh black, you know, black shot, you, you know, that, that's how artists used to do back in the day, man. You know, uh, they, they uh, um, you know, uh, You'll see, you know, like, the albums, is, it'd be, like, pretty much, um, you you didn't know what they looked like. They was, like, in the shadow or something. Mm. Oh, you know right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to explain the best way I can. No, it's like you see, a, like, a silhouette. You see the shadow of the person. Yeah, that's what. But you don't see the person. Yeah, that's what Bobby uh, Cadwell did. Yeah, example, I remember man. that. <laughs> yeah, you know, his album cover is a shadow of him, man. Yeah. You didn't know what he looked like at first. Come on. You know, but um, let's see what, yeah, this is uh, oh, go you ahead, know that, yeah, Revelation 6 and 4. Okay, this says, and, and what, and it, uh, this is Revelation 6 and 4, and there went out another horse that was red, you know, uh, which that's talk. this is talking about Esau Edom, man. Mm -hmm. so you read how, what Esau looked like in um, Genesis 25th chapter, it describes him coming out Rebecca's womb. As as red, mm -hmm. you know. That's what I saw him like. Uh, pretty much, it was a waste of ways. He, I believe, yeah, right. I believe that he wore his um, a shot show up, if, I'm, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. Because he didn't look normal, man. He ain't come out looking normal, man. You know, Jacob came out looking normal. He had pigmentation, man, mm -hmm. in his skin, man. You know. Um. So it says, um. And went out another horse that was red. Just talking about Esau eat him. And power was given to him. Who was given? The Lord gave him the power. Job 9, 24. The earth is given to the hand of the wicked, man. All right. The Lord wants to set this, raise this devil up and sum up in, in the power, man. 
for prophecy's sake, man. Right. It says that they went out a horse that was red and power was given to him that sat there on to take peace from the earth. And that's his whole job. He's never going to change, man. So the Lord got to come. How shy he had to come back and deliver us out of this damn dude's hand. The Lord got to be the one to put stop to this man, man. Yeah, the Lord, as Isaac gave him the blessing of the yeah. sword, and now he's coming back as Yahushai to take it away. That's it, bro. You see? That's it, brother. So it's take peace from earth that they should kill one another, and there was given to him a great sword. And like I said, part of his sword is he weaponized the food mm -hmm. that you eat, man. The, 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 the water that you drink. Hell, you got to pay for water now. Why don't you know you pay? That was unheard of years ago at going to the store buying water. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And it's not even good water still. You it's still not. It's still in plastic. It's terrible. Because you know, you, little you know that what you eat off of, that goes inside your body as well, man. Mm -hmm. Everything's got plastic. Everything's plastic. And then, you know, uh, things is in glass. It could be the same goddamn product. Just, oh, just because I put it in glass, I'm going to charge you extra. Right. Yep. You know. This is devil, man. <laughs> we gotta get the hell out of here, man. You gotta be crazy for wanting to stay here, man. That's what Lloyd got the remedy for you. You're just gonna be destroyed with this place. That's the remedy. Right. For, for you, for those you two third nut jobs that want this place to continue, man. Okay. Huh. You fucking brute beast, man. Hey, hey, it worked on you. The music they pump out and they're at work on you two thirds, man. There's no enchantments with the elect. Exactly. You know, wait, bro. There's a, a Ezekiel nine and four, and the Lord said unto him, "Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a thawa." All right, that word there in the Hebrew is thawa, which means um, exempt, from ex exempt from judgment. The water. Uh, upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. So we're sighing and crying now. You know, us and, and the rest of our brothers, starting with the apostles and others on down, we're crying. All right, so Lord, hey, Baba Kusha, deliver us. Get us out of this place. Destroy this place at the same time, you know. Yeah. Verse 5, and to the others, he said in my hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity, no mercy. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children, and women. Ooh, so, bam, bam. There's no respect to persons mm -mm. with the most side. He don't give a damn. Hey, Esau, he respect a person. And, you, and you, if you're a woman, uh, I'll let you slide. Right. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but Lord don't give a shit. If you deserve judgment, he's going to give it to you. He don't care who the hell you are, man. Even if you're a woman, he's, he said he, he, he named women. Yeah, children, little children, little children. Yeah. See, but well, hey, keep on, bro. But come not near any man upon whom is the thawa, and begin at my sanctuary. Then they begin the ancient men which were before the house. You see, so all you two thirds of of you know the nation of Israel, you so called blacks, Hispanics, Native American Indians. You're going to be utterly destroyed here, man, without mercy, because you're not crying out. You're with this rape. You're with uh, Esau, Edom, oppressing us, you know? And you, you, you helping them. Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. You, you, fuck, you niggas are set up to help this dude, you know? It's madness. Matter of fact, what was I holding? Oh, yeah, I just read that. Uh this nice little scripture uh, Chicago brought out. Oh, I remember that lesson we did that Esau took that down off the page. Mm -hmm. It was, uh, I believe, it's uh, Isaiah 31 and 3. Okay. It's Isaiah 31 3. Now the Egyptians are men and not God. And who's Monday? Egyptian and Pharaoh. Esau eat them, man. He think he's fucking God, but like like you said earlier, Lord is just gonna show you that you're a fucking man. Yeah. And now the Egyptians are men, not God, and their horses flesh and not spirit. When the Lord shall stretch out his hand, both he that help helpeth shall fall, 
and he that hope it shall fall down, and they all shall fall together. So, oh, fail. Oh, that's like you. That's okay. And both he that help it shall fall, and he that hoping <laughs> shall fall down, and they all shall fail together, man. Yeah. So all you that won't help, help, help this devil, y'all... Y'all gonna fall together, man. <laughs> you celebrities, all that, man. Yeah. They're helping, further helping this damn devil's agenda. That's yes. against you, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You're gonna fall right along with this goddamn devil, man. And you're gonna come back in the kingdom shame face. As I tell you in Daniel's 12th chapter, man. Mm -hmm. You know? So, yeah. That's all I have right And with that, we hope this lesson was edifying and exhorting. Again, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chakurash, double honor to the apostles and others of Great Millstone, who rule one, who taught us this truth and salutations to all the Akim, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity with charity. Shalom, Wa, Abad, Baba. Shalom.